Good morning. I know it looks like dinner stuff, and it is, so I'm putting this in the crock pot. We're gonna make stew. When I say we, I really mean me. Probably brought the sirloins from um, the grocery store, and I'm going to dice them into rough, like, two inch pieces, sear them, and then put them in a crock pot along with garlic, carrot, celery, pearl onions, potatoes, and rutabaga, a little bit of beef base, parsley, thyme, uh, a couple of rosemary leaves, a uh, rosemary, um, bay leaves, uh, cracked black pepper, and Mrs. Dash TV screaming in the background, I'm so sorry. So I'm going to prep that, and I'll show you what that looks like. I have to run downstairs and get the crock pot, because we just don't have any more storage space up here in the kitchen, so I have it on the shelf in the basement, which will be twofold because I have some items to put in the freezer. Easy peasy, and it's a win for all. Before I run downstairs to grab the crock pot and uh, bring the things that I need to put in the downstairs freezer, I've prepped all of my vegetables, as you can see, just about the same size. I have rutabaga, um, pearl onions, potatoes, celery, carrots, garlic, and now I'm dissolving a teaspoon of this beef base from Bear Creek in a boiling 8 ounce glass jar of water right from my water cooler and that will, should be dissolved within the next couple of minutes. In the meantime I'm going to sear up the steak or the meat. Uh, but first I'm going to grab my meat mat because I don't cut any raw proteins on this board. It's only fruits and vegetables. I'm going to grab my red meat board, red meat mat, and um, cut these and just do them in stages. So once I have my crock pot um, and the insert, as I sear off the meat, I'll just put it right into the crock pot base and then add all the vegetables, this beef base, uh, fluid water, just regular water from the tap, um, and then the herbs, and I'll show you what the which herbs I'm going to be using as well as spices. Searing off the meat, once I'm done with the meat, goes in there, and I put a new batch in, and then once all the batches are done, I'm going to deglaze it with this beef base that has been that has melted in there and it'll pick up all that fond on the bottom which is what adds flavor so I'm gonna run out to the garden and grab some fresh herbs once I finish sauteing this because I don't want to walk away let it burn major burns check that out so the last batch is in here and look at all that yummy tasty stuff on the bottom and for those of you who are vegetarians, uh, leave the meat out. Add more root vegetables. Add butternut squash, um, uh, sweet potatoes, um, beets would be lovely. So any of that and slow cook with all the herbs and vegetables and garlic. It's so tasty. So instead of um, beef base, use vegetable base, which is also available from the same company. Uh, it's Bear Creek. Yeah, I already put it away. Bear, Bear Creek. Or you can use a vegetable starter, or just add water. All the veggies will definitely add the flavor. So let me flip these over and then deglaze the pan. So all of the meat is sauteed, and I seared off all the cut surfaces. That's what creates that fond. I've turned off the stove, but now I'm going to pour in this... beef base to get all that yumminess off the bottom with a wooden spoon. And the pan should be relatively clean once we pour that into the pot. So the pot already has some meat in it, lots of meat in it, and I'm going to add the veggies, then that, and then water to cover. So let's dump the veggies in. I have to get the herbs too. In the garden. Oh, perfect. Wow, that's perfect. And I'll use a spoon to kind of, the same wooden spoon to mix some stuff around. All right, I'm gonna need my other hand to pour this into the pot. See all that yummy stuff came up off the bottom and here 
it is in here. So I'm going to add water till just about comes up to over the veggies. But first let me mix it up well so the meat's all interspersed and I'm gonna plug it in probably for, I'm gonna do four hours for now and then see if I need more. The lower the hours, the higher the temp for the crock pot. I'm using a rival stainless one. So there's everything mixed together. I've grabbed some parsley from the garden. It's about a quarter, mm, eighth of a cup. Three bay leaves. Keep track of how many bay leaves you put in. We can't digest them. You have to pull them out. And a sprig of thyme, which I'm going to tie to the lid. So, and I already have a tablespoon and a half. A tablespoon and a half of a regular Mrs. Dash, the original, salt-free. And probably about a teaspoon of cracked black pepper. And I will taste, um, the saucy part of the stew and then a couple of hours in I'm gonna add some mushrooms but not now because then I'll kind of disintegrate and now I still want to see that they're actual mushrooms so I'm gonna add this lid it and I'll show you what it looks like all tied to the lid that's it now I can go do whatever I'd like I have a load of wash and then uh, maybe do a little bit of playing so stew's on and I'll check in again in a couple of hours see if I need to up the temp or leave it at four and I'm sure that our noses will tell us before <laughs> the, um, you know, how it's doing because the house should fill with a lovely aroma. So that's it for now. I'll be back when it's done. I have some herbs for topping and some fresh onions from the garden ready for the stew. In the meantime, I prepped some of the this delicious Asian sweet ginger red hot, <laughs> Frank's red hot that Polly brought home. And no, we haven't consumed all that much. Well, it was like down to here already. So I'm gonna put this container in the refrigerator downstairs. I have poured a batch for us to keep in the fridge here. Frank's Red Hot Asian Sweet Ginger. Hashtag bold and sweet. And then I also rinsed out a regular Red Hot that was just about done to get, share some with mom and dad. Asian Sweet Ginger or the original sign. So they have some to enjoy as well. If you get a chance to taste this, well worth it. So delicious. It's just enough heat where it's the aroma and the flavor without killing your taste buds. Doesn't last very long on your palate. Really tasty. A little bit of sweet, a little bit of hot. Really good. Would be great in a stir fry. Um, where have we had it on? Oh, we've just... I had it, uh, I made the shrimp uh, yesterday for brunch. Oh, what is it stuck on the table? Um, really, really good. Highly recommended. It's a new flavor they have. We picked up this giant bohemoth container from Restaurant Depot, but I know they must have, you know, like, um, what size are these? Five ounces, probably bigger than this. Um, and at Restaurant Depot, these little ones are a dollar because they're really meant to be put on the table, but. So that's the original, and I just put the label over it. So really, really good, really delicious. So now I have a um, amount to keep up here in the kitchen fridge, and then the rest I'm going to bring down to the basement backup fridge. First, I'm going to take a picture and post it because I just thought, oh, so good. Absolutely have to spread the word. Oh, and I uh, used my label maker. <laughs> hey. Just because it's crafty supplies doesn't mean it can be used elsewhere in the house. See? Yummy. Polly's watching Restaurant Rescue. <laughs> no, um, Bar Rescue. And some of the kitchens they go in, go into just makes you want to squirm, doesn't it? <laughs> so, um, Stu is just getting there. Whew, so good. Smells really good. And see my little bouquet? The leaves are off of it. But I'm going to leave it in until we're ready to eat. Yes, Polly scrubbed and every cleaned everything because this was uh, in the basement. So because it's a little on the thin side, I'm not developing the same kind of flavors if they had been cooking um, in the oven or over a, a low simmer on the stove. I'm going to add a little cornstarch, and this is just the you know Argo brand cornstarch. So I'm going to start off with a teaspoon, half a teaspoon, half a teaspoon. And I have a little bit of the liquid in a glass jar and a tiny itty bit a little whisk because I don't want to put you don't want to put 
powdered cornstarch, it'll just lump up if you put it directly into that. But this way I can create a slurry and add that back. Instead of using water, I just scooped out with a little ladle some of the juicy. So let me show you what it looks like after I add the starch and dissolve it in the liquid. So I've dissolved the, I add, actually ended up adding an entire teaspoon. And as you can see now, it just looks like it's a little milky, but there's no lumps. And I'm going to add that into the pot and then stir it in with a wooden spoon. But I have to do that with both hands, so I'll show you what it looks like after I've stirred it in. I've pulled out the little sprig of what used to be thyme. Now it's just the stems that was tied to the lid. And the three bay leaves, and I know there was only three because I counted them before. So I'm just going to let this continue cooking. So I've stirred in the uh, cornstarch slurry, and it's going to do its thing. It activates in the heat. Ooh, smells good, looks good. So I have the uh, little egg noodle, probably a couple of portions already. It has a little bit of butter, um, a mixture of Mrs. Dash, a little bit of grated parm, some cracked black pepper, and that's going to go in the bottoms of these bowls. And then I'm going to put the stew over it, and then a little bit of the shaved, well, finely, thinly sliced onions from the garden, and parsley, and then uh, a shaving of Parmesan cheese over it. So let me show you what that looks like all put together, and then I have to take some pictures. <laughs> Yum. Yum. So dinner is served. I'm going to bring this out to Polly and then I'm going to serve myself. Take my final couple of pictures and that's going to be it. Look at the steam rising off of it. Yummy. So that's it for us for today. Thank you so much for stopping by and keeping us company. Don't forget about the thumbs up. Uh, we appreciate it. And we will see you all tomorrow. Thanks for watching everyone.